Hey guys, Anatoly from Define Agile here and today I want to answer a question that actually many of you are asking and it's not related to Jira per se but it's related on how to write stories. I just want to give a disclaimer that it's just my way to write stories. I'm also not a project manager or a product owner. I am more dealing with Agile side. However, I've seen lots of stories written and I know what are some of the good things that should be in any story so we're gonna have a couple of minutes just talk about what are some of the necessities and how to structure those so hopefully it will help you to write a better stories again it's just my opinion please if you have uh, different opinions put them in the comments down below uh, feel free to argue it's just what i think works so first of all we we'll need to create a story in jira we click on a plus button this is uh, my Scrum project, but it can be a Kanban project as well, or any other project. So click on plus, you get your story, uh, you got your story interface. Well, there can be more fields than I have here. It's just like a basic template. I don't know what fields do you have, so that's why I just want to start with and uh, whatever comes from default. So summary, uh, you see we have project and the issue type, and then we have summary. So summary is something that would give you a very quick glance of what this story is about. It needs to be very short and needs to be very concise as well. So some people put the whole story description here as a user, I want to do this and that. I just like to put a couple of words that would just describe what I need to build. So let's say um, in this case, I want to build and uh, login for the admin page. So I would put admin login page. This will be my summary, very concise. So then let's say I need to go to a description. So uh, in description, I put everything that I really need here so my developers would know exactly what to do and so they don't have a lot of questions. So first of all, I wanna put uh, the storyline and we usually do it in the format uh, as a persona and do what so that so we can say as an admin user as an admin user I need to log in so that I can control the admin panel so this will be my first line that would describe why this is needed also state some business purpose and say what user is doing what and why so this answers lots of questions that people might have then from here i usually like to have acceptance criteria so what is acceptance criteria acceptance criteria will uh, describe everything that needs to happen so that uh, we consider the story done. So when the acceptance criteria is met, we know that the story is completed. Very important. So here uh, there can be a lot of different ways how to write acceptance criteria uh, and there is no right or wrong answer. I prefer to state every function that needs to be done. Uh, I mean the user needs to be able to uh, to log in via putting valid username and password. If username and password are invalid, error, please, please try again, should appear. If no username or password is provided, error, please provide both username So, and then my acceptance criteria is that admin user needs to be able to log in via putting valid username and password. If username and password are invalid, error please try again should appear. 
If no username and password is provided, error, please provide both username and password should appear. So this will be my acceptance criteria. So then developers will look at that and say, okay, uh, admin user needs to log in via putting username and password. Do I have username and password in my login page? Yes, so this is met. So then if something is invalid, um, the error appears, yes, so I met this. If there's no username or password provided, uh, this error appear, yes. If everything is valid, user should be redirected to dashboard. And then the last one would be, what if everything is valid? User should be able to uh, be redirected to dashboard. Well, maybe another one we could say um, more generic. <clears throat> sometimes those acceptance criteria are very generic, sometimes they're not, sometimes it's just like first point. I like to put as much as possible so that uh, developers don't have many questions. Uh, User should see the form by going to a login page. So a bunch of acceptance criteria here. Then the next stop uh, is the common description. More reasoning, why this is needed, why it's important, will be uh, as a business, we decided to have an admin portal. This will be a first step we want our admins to be able to have a separate login. This portal will leave at admin slash login. The current page will be login. Something like that. So this is just an example. You put some descriptions so you know uh, so you know the business logic, you know, you put as much information as possible so that uh, try to answer questions that um, developers might have. They might ask, okay, is that a part of a bigger story? Well, put it here. Uh, ideally, you'll have meetings with your developers and go for all of this with them so they all understand it before it's even uh, officially get into a sprint. But I'm saying to you as a starting point before you're talking to developers, well, try to put as much as possible in your story. And then the other thing will be is to put all the assets. So make sure you have the mockups for your login page. You have uh, everything you need and then attach them. You can do it via either link or attachments. So everything should be attached here. And that's it. Don't assign it to anyone. Uh, because you will do it, uh, either developers will do it themselves or you'll agree who will work on that during a sprint planning. But this will be sort of the easiest and quickest way how you do that. Uh, again, it might be missing something, might be doing stuff differently, but uh, at least this one has everything that me as a developer uh, will need to start working on it. So this is very short. And as I'm saying, I'm not a product owner or project manager, but I'm getting asked this question very often and try to bring you guys as much value as possible. Please let me know if that works for you or not, and I'll be happy to discuss it. Uh, if you need help with Jira, with Agile, please go to defineagile.com, schedule a free consultation, and let's see how we can help your business. And this is Anatoly from Define Agile. I see you next one. Bye-bye.